So what do we have here? We have a representation of a phospholipid molecule with its two tails attached to a head. One tail looks a little crooked, but I will not emphasize that at all. Not even ask about it on your module test, but uh, you will need to know it has two tails and a head. Now, there's something different about this head compared to the other lipids we've studied. It has to do with this phosphate group right here. And phosphate, phosphorus, phosphate, uh, what that means is that somewhere in there, there is one, just one, one phosphorus atom in the head. One phosphorus atom in the head. So, uh, a phospholipid molecule is called a phospholipid molecule because it has one phosphorus atom in the head. And of course, it has two tails as well. And so, uh, let's take a look at this next picture. Wow, here our phospholipid molecule has gotten up from its nap. It's taking a little walk in the park and wow, ran into lots of his buddies. Good night, what do we have here? We got lots and lots of phospholipid molecules arranged in what's called a phospholipid bilayer. And uh, why do they why is it called that? Well it's made of phospholipid molecules, obviously, and bilayer by means two. So the uh, phospholipid molecules form a um, structure that is two molecules thick two molecules thick. That's why it's called a phospholipid bilayer, made of phospholipid molecules, two molecules thick. And um, how are the phospholipid molecules arranged in this phospholipid bilayer? Well, are they arranged head to head or tail to tail? Well, I think it's tail to tail, is it not? Yes. And why is that? Well, that has to do with properties of the phospholipid molecule and the environment in a cell. What is the environment in a cell? On both sides of any membrane, and this represents a cell membrane, it's watery. Watery on one side of the membrane. Here it is, watery again. Watery on the other side. Water, water on both sides of every membrane. And so, uh, which end of the phospholipid molecule is apparently attracted to water? The head or the tail? Well, it must be the heads, of course. We see the heads uh, next to the water on both sides. So the heads are attracted to water. And the term for that is hydrophilic, which literally means what? Hydro refers to water, and philic refers to love, water loving. There we go. And the tails, they face away from the water, and they are said to be hydro what? Hydrophobic, which literally means water fearing. And so, uh, all the cell's membranes are put together this way. Speaking of cell membranes, let's look at this picture. That's, uh, uh, we'll see more at two or three units down the line. What is this? Well, this represents a, uh, it's kind of a generic picture of an animal cell. And we see in this picture lots of membranes. The membrane around the out of the side of the cell, that's a phospholipid bilayer. But all these structures inside, mitochondria and so forth, all of these, uh, the endoplasmic reticulum and, and uh, so forth, every one of these is made of boundaries and structures and layers. Every one of those boundaries, uh, boundary layers, inside, outside, those are also phospholipid bilayers. And around the nucleus here, it's a double phospholipid bilayer. So the cell is, is the outside membrane and all these membranes within, forming these various structures and boundaries, all made up of phospholipid molecules. So how many phospholipid molecules in just one of our cells? Who knows? Countless bazillions. All right, let's uh, now return to our lesson material.